Hey guys, Bridget here. In this video, we're going to create uh, this uh, very screen on the right from scratch uh, using Figma. Now, I want to remind you that uh, this is a series in which uh, we're recreating uh, some screens of a UI kit, which I recently found on UI8, which is called NFTX. I'm going to leave the link in the description if you want to check out the full UI kit. And now, without further ado, let's jump right into the tutorial. All right, we're back in Figma, and now we're going to create this very next screen. So I want to remind you also that we created these screens from scratch in previous YouTube videos. So feel free to check them out if you want to uh, learn how to design these other screens. But for now, what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate uh, this screen right here. And uh, we're going to simply delete this option since we don't need it anymore. We're going to center this text and we're going to write uh, upload. Now, at this uh, uh, moment, what we're going to do next is we're going to start uh, and uh, uh, reveal the layout grid. And uh, we're going to <clears throat> essentially go ahead and create a rectangle, which is going to span across uh, the width of uh, this uh, uh, grid. And we're going to bring it uh, right above here. And uh, in order to maintain a visual consistency, I'm going to check uh, how much is the rounded radius of this element. So it's a uh, number six. And we're going to add six over here. Perfect. Now at this point, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, create uh, a oval on top of this element. And I'm going to make it uh, white. Now at this point, I'm going to be sure that uh, the height uh, and also this uh, side here is uh, pretty much equal. And I'm going to leverage Nucleo Icons, which is uh, a free icon management software, which uh, you can find uh, simply searching on Google for Nucleo or Nucleo Icons, actually. And you're going to find it right away. It's available for free. And uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to add a uh, bin icon just like this one right here. I'm going to change the color to white and make this 20% opacity. All right, at this point, uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go under plugins and we're going to search uh, for Unsplash and we're going to write in NFT. As you can see, we have uh, quite a few options. This one looks pretty interesting. So I'm going to use this one right here. I'm going to make this uh, be 40% or actually let's uh, change the color to be darker since uh, it creates uh, more contrast with uh, this uh, image right here. We're going to also duplicate this image and uh, almost have a gallery here below which uh, is going to enable us to uh, basically create this uh, this nice and quick gallery item. I'm going to duplicate this one time, two times. We're going to select uh, the some other NFT uh, images. So let's go ahead and let's find some images co which uh, could work well within this uh, color scheme. So quite uh, happy about that one. Let's try this one. It's going some, for some images, it takes a while simply because they're quite uh, uh, big. So let's try this one here. Um, not too fond of it. And uh, even in this case, I want something a little bit lighter. So we're just going to try different um, different images. Maybe let's change this one at this point since I want to maintain almost like a common theme. So there's like this element in, in the middle in all of these. And uh, I think this is uh, pretty interesting. Okay, so this is working so far. Let's make this lighter. And uh, let's uh, do the same also for this one. Let's make it 50. 
or actually in this case we're going to keep it a little bit lighter and for this one right here what we're gonna do is we're going to basically add the, uh, the icon on top uh, plus the overlay so that we're going to simulate uh, um, a selection that's been happening Let's scale it down just a little bit to change the variation and uh, here we go all right uh, at this point we are going to simply copy text from this other element we're going to write in label i'm going to add a rectangle right here which is going to be an input field let's make this one white let's add a stroke which for consistency is going to be around the same color as this one right here radius of 6 maybe let's do a 1.5 and uh, let's bring it here I'm going to write uh, space 305 Perfect. Now, I also want to remind you that this uh, is uh, a screen uh, uh, which uh, is uh, basically we're, we're replicating a UI kit which you can find on UI8 called NFTX. So, if you're interested in seeing the entire UI kit, feel free to check it out as uh, I think it's, uh, it's really uh, cool and good looking. And uh, yeah, so that's that. Now we're going to add uh, some Lipsum text. Alternatively, you can go on Lipsum.com and find uh, some text over there. And uh, yeah, you're going to have uh, anything uh, that you need uh, in those regards. All right. Now we're going to duplicate this uh, one more time. And we're going to write as far as after. Now let's create a, a small toggle. So let's go over here. Let's round this up all the way. Just like that. And uh, let's decrease the size. Let's do 25 by 25. Let's bring it here. Let's reduce the size just a little bit. I'm going to change the inner color to a light, uh, um, or actually a vivid green just like this one right here and yeah that uh, that will do let's just make it white and uh, maybe let's uh, reduce the size just a little bit and uh, yeah this is working uh, better for sure let's duplicate this one more time let's write in seven days we're going to add an arrow, which uh, probably going to grab from this element right here. Bring it here. Turn the arrow. Bring it on the right. Make it just a little bit smaller. And uh, boom, we are in business. So really hope uh, you enjoyed uh, this uh, tutorial. And uh, I'll see you in uh, the very next one.